Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here, and we are back with some more LEGO Movie 2 video game! That's right, we've got Middle Zealand Free Room, which is part of the Rexplorer system. It offers 25 of those Poipo, or Masterpiece Bricks, and we're gonna knock them all out in this video. We're also gonna get a couple of trophy achievements for completing the area, as well as a couple of quests in the area. So hey, shout out to Warner Brothers for hooking us up with a copy of this game. It has been an absolute delight so far, and we're hoping you are enjoying it as well. Now, uh, uh, we're going to pick up right where we left off. You can see we just completed the Old West there. We're going to toggle over to Middle Zealand and go ahead and jump right in. Now, keep in mind, we have sped this video up ever so slightly. We've also added quick links down below in the video description. And, and, well... We have uh, induced the fun mechanism as well. So we're going to start things off by messing up and tagging the wrong quest. So forgive me here as I jump right in. I thought this was the first one. It happens to be the first race. Now, there are only two races in this area, and they are both back-to-back, -back, so it shouldn't be a too much trouble finding them, but I do want to point out that uh, although the on-screen notations all label the bricks Masterpiece 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way through to 25, the notations for each type are changed or different down in the video description quick links. So, uh, if you're looking for maybe a quest, you know that you have uh, a quest, or maybe having trouble with a certain uh, particular, uh, I don't know, brick or whatever it is, uh, simply look through for the type down below and that should get you there now unfortunately there isn't any kind of like a checklist in game that shows you okay you're missing a race or missing a quest or anything like that so i didn't think it was going to matter too much which is why i didn't label them on screen but just in case i wanted to cover my tracks down below in the quick link so all right first brick in the bag second one is another easy race now so far the races they they pretty much give us an easy task we complete that and then they're like oh you'll never do that again you're not fast enough there's this record record's been in and for over 20 years and then we go and we blow the doors off the record again so uh whoop, 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 whoop. so apparently we're a lot faster than they think and I, I do feel like we could have completed that first race on foot even though we grabbed the old horsey and got our we we neighed all the way to the finish line all right anyways moving along we're gonna go ahead and make that final right turn inside and grab that purple brick as well as a nice pat on the back for completing both of those races. Oh, and look at that. We get Ye old Tavern as well. Now, I do believe that's going to be one of the buildings that we create in the Sistar, Sistar Apocalypse. Uh, I can never say it. I, I'm going to give up on that. So that, that one with all the buildings in it, that's what I'm calling it. So, All right, this is actually the quest that I tagged originally. So we're going to go ahead and take that on next. But don't forget to grab the chest. For us, we got a couple of relics, a few studs, and some buildable bricks as well. But uh, right next to him is the old, I don't know what, they look like a blacksmith of some sort. And he says, teach him a lesson. Now, you might have noticed a abrupt edit there. Maybe you didn't. I probably shouldn't have even said anything, but you might have noticed that all of a sudden he had wings on. That's because I got lost. There is that golden arrow. You see it up in the top right of the screen there? It's trying to take me up to the king, and I'm not exactly sure... What I did to provoke that, I don't think I did anything. It just all of a sudden, like, triggered that. So I don't know if that's a game glitch or what's going on. But I got to come out here and do the old cha-cha-cha-cha, give a few dance lessons to the old local baddies. Once we get them all erratied, we can go ahead and make our way back over the wall. And we should be able to collect our masterpiece brick. And so we're going to jump back in. You can see that the arrow is now pointing back to the blacksmith. We'll step right up to the plate and, ah, oh, good work. That'll show them rascals. Ha, ha, ha. Ooh, we get the blacksmith build instructions as well. So I do feel like we're getting those needed build instructions for the last 19 bricks that will be available to us in the Sistar Apocalypse. Whatever it's called. All right, next up, uh, we got that one in the well there. Now, well, that was sure easy. Ho, 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 ho. All right, next up, we got another one. It's actually hiding in between some houses. It's kind of a funny angle, so make sure that you sneak right through the cracks there and grab that brick before moving up to the very top. And we're going to actually, uh, we kind of avoided the king right away. We, we see this brick up high. Uh, we also see this chest down low. Now, as a quick reminder, you're going to need a handful of relics 
pieces, bricks, and money. Each level or area has at least 100,000 worth of stuff you need to buy from the store. 50 of them being 50,000 from the, the brick itself, because you got to buy that Poipo brick from each of the stores, as well as usually there's a character token you got to purchase, and sometimes there are other character tokens or other items too. Now, keep in mind there is a trophy achievement for having 100 total items. Now, it is more than likely that you're going to get those for just simply completing the game itself. I don't think you're going to have to go out of your way at all. However, there is a chance that you might fall over. A little bit short so if you do uh, we just recommend buying the items as we go through the store then we're not gonna have to do any backtracking or nothing we'll get that probably long before we finish but uh, that's the goal so hey I had some trouble getting up there it, it was I would like to say it was the game's fault but it was totally user error uh, there are easier ways you can come from the front there is a nice walkway that takes you right up into the King's Castle here I chose the hard right way because there was a chest as well as a brick over there so we got those and uh, now we're uh, on top looking down at the king, which I don't recommend. Now, I also want to point out, too, as I make my way over to this left side, um, there was a weird... So so during that edit earlier, when I didn't have the wings, then I had the wings when we were doing that quest, doing the dance mission out by the bridge there by the black for the blacksmith, there was a moment where I did follow the yellow arrow up to the king. Now, the king didn't give me anything special, but this young lad to his left did. Now, I, I somehow had something that I, I don't even know where I got it, but I gave it to him, and I got some studs for it. I'm telling you this because you might find that there is a task there that I missed, or at least didn't show you on screen. But as it turns out, I did it, but it didn't give me a purple or masterpiece brick, so I didn't include it, And, and I, but I felt I should mention it. So uh, grab that brick down below and make your way back up inside and talk to the king here. He says that he needs the hero sword. He actually gives us a tip and says that the last time he saw it, Sir Michael the Mindless fell into the moat, which happens to be that thing around the castle. So we're going to go ahead and drop in. Now, as it turns out, I had to learn the hard way that it's actually on the left side of where we're at right now. And if you're looking at the castle from the front, it would be on the right side. But so I drop down on the wrong side here. Turns out there is a nice little uh, a little tunnel that you can swim through the middle there from the other side. So we're, we're going to jump out and go to the other side of the moat. And hopefully we'll get out there sooner than later. Figured some elevator music might help soothe your frustration right now with me swimming around the wrong way, but I finally figured it out, and I am out of here. We'll go ahead and drop into the other side, and this is where I find the nice little escape path out of here. However, once I get in here, I do maybe the butt slam of the century here, and I knock this sword into the ground. I can't get it. I, I And I'll show you here. Watch this. There it is. Watch this. Cha, 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 cha. Okay, maybe it wasn't a butt slam. There it is, but wait, there it, there it isn't. There it, there, it, there it isn't. What is going on? So what I did was I swam, swam back up to the king, talked to him again, swam back down, and when I swam back down, look at that. It was just down here in the water uh, where it's nice and warm. Seriously, it is. It's nice and warm. Middle Zealand, think about it. It's nice and toasty over there. It's not going to be chilly like it is here in Oregon. All right, so uh, I went ahead and showed you I did the butt slam just in case. I, I wasn't sure how the edit was going to work out, but it worked out rather nicely if I do say so myself. All right, make your way up and out of here. I will say, too, that it is nice that there is no, like, threat of, like, drowning. Did you, did you notice that? Like, there's no, like, you know, remember the Sonic? Yeah, there's nothing like that, which is cool. There's no urgency to get out of there. Again, making this the easiest Lego game ever. And look at that. We gave the sword over, and he says thank you very much and gives us our purple brick. And now we're getting to move on to the next one. It says he is looking for a thing of power. Well, it holds great power. Uh, he doesn't really know what it is or what it does, but uh, Sir Stacks a lot or st Stacks a brick or whatever his name is. He is going to follow us and help us over there. So follow the old golden arrow down to the bottom of the stairs, and you should find our nice little escort along with the horsey. We talked to him because apparently we had to get this decree of like whatever. Basically, it's a hall pass. We gave him that, and now he's all ready to roll, and we're going to steal his horse, which... We kind of regret here in a minute because you'll see. we, we got to go to this area right in front of a dungeon. Now, there's some baddies in front of the dungeon that we need to take care of. Now, once once they're gone, he kind of like tiptoes in. It's like he's not quite sure if it's safe or not. And, and I feel like maybe if he had his horse, 
he would have a little bit more confidence. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but get over to where uh, we're instructed to go. Take out the baddies. There's like three or four of these kind of zombie-looking dudes. Uh, once they are all gone, you might notice Buddy kind of tiptoeing in. Now, for me, it takes a second before... Oh, there he is. He's over at the front door. So he's at least made it to the front door. But he is a little bit on the scary side. So, ooh, don't forget to jump up onto this mini tower and smash this chest and grab your relics, bricks, and studs. Oh, my. That's right. Uh, now we get over here. We got one more red arrow indicating that we have one more baddie we need to take out. But, hey, there is another chest in the back corner. So make sure you get over there and swoop it. So, we, you know us. We're, we got to get them all. Got to get them all. And there's a purple over there, too. So, we're going to definitely go swoop that up. As I already mentioned, we're going to need roughly 100,000 per level. So, I don't know what your studage is looking like right now. For me, I've got over a million, you see. But it goes fast. Especially when you buy all the items and the characters uh, that are available. And this one, I believe there are three total characters. Each costing 50,000. Plus the purple brick in the store costing 50,000. So, I do believe this level or area cost me over 200. 100,000 studs. So here you go. Here he's uh, tiptoeing in here. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting power. I don't really know. It's uh, it's like a crystal. It's like some sort of uh, super awesome thing. But we do get a brick for completing that portion, and now he tasks us with actually going in. And this is where it gets weird, too, because we go in and we get this mystery bag. Oh, wait, we got to get the catapult first. And as you see here, I wasn't exactly sure what I needed to do, so I had to make an edit. I went around and smashed a bunch of these catapults. There are, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six catapults scattered throughout the area. It's just up to you to go ahead and use your scan tool to record one and add it to our list of objects so we can go then get into the designated area, pull up our object library, go to the quests, and then there should be the bouncing catapult. Once we get that, uh, it's going to go ahead and smash and reveal the downstairs tomb. It's really not as scary as I was trying to make it sound, but we got to go down there and find this mystery bag. Look at that. I wonder what's in it. We'll go ahead and drop inside. There are a few baddies that we got to take care of, and the third one, I believe, actually drops the sack of goodies. But don't miss out on the old Rex Quando wall here. We can pull out our Rex fists and get our Fury on. Finding a nice chest inside, which you probably could hear from the old glow sound uh, illuminating from the stairwell that we just came down. And we got to keep on keeping on and grab what is next. Uh, oh, look at this. We, I don't know why. These guys seem to get the drop on me. I don't know. They're like Happy Thumbs themed. Do you see them? They're all yellow. I'm not sure why they're all yellow, but they are. And look at that. So there's the three skeletons, and then we've got this big dude in the back. He's like some sort of, uh, I don't know, he's like a ninja or something. Go, ninja. It's your birthday. And look at that. So I dropped him, and now I'm like, well, what now? Nobody around. Oh, there's a glow on the left. So pretty much wherever you drop him, he should drop that mysterious bag. Now we can take that back up top, but not before grabbing that chest on the way out. Again, we're going to need them studs and them relics. Now, the goal right now is we are only going to open up relics from here on out that we need. Let's so like if we need a particular character or something that we don't have, which I don't think we do, uh, then, then we might open up a relic or two. But we're going to save all those relics and then have a live stream party. Who knows? I I'm curious to see how many relics I end up with after finishing all of the different worlds and planets. As it sits right now, we did open up like 20 different uh, of the construction ones because we needed a flying vehicle. Now, it is possible that if you don't already have a flying vehicle of some sort, that you are going to need one to get to some high, high rise places. Now, we know that Apocalypseburg has one brick that is out of reach that we're going to need something like that for. And we actually unlocked, we got lucky. As you know, the relics give you random items. You could even get duplicates kind of wasting that relic. Not really, but sort of. And uh, as it turns out, we had to open up like 12 or 13 relics before we actually got a flying vehicle. So... Let it be known that we had to do a lot of trudging around and hold on to our relics before we finally got one of those. But we got one now. Haven't had to use it yet, but we got it when needed. All right, we uh, returned that thing of power back to the old uh, Basaru there, and uh, the king was happy. He gave us a brick, and now he has tasked us with taking it over to some sort of wizard out in the middle of the woods. So uh, we find some baddies on the way there. I actually tried to avoid them because I was kind of worried that maybe they were attached to another task, and it turns out they, in fact, are. Now, I tried to get my jump on and land on these trees, but I just didn't have very good aim, so you'll have to forgive me for that. 
It would have been a lot easier to make it all the way to the top and just make it happen, but it didn't work out. Now, I also find this guy over here, uh, we give him a little bit of a chase here in a minute, but uh, he provides a little bit of some problems, so I end up not getting that guy uh, he has a couple buddies rolling around, though, and it's definitely worth chasing those guys down because it gives you tons of studs and a mega relic, which uh, can be used for cool stuff, I guess. I haven't really figured that one out, but we'll find out soon enough. Speaking of soon enough, make your way to the very top of this tower and find the wizard inside who, uh, let's see here, what has he got for us? Oh, who are you? Where's my pants? Did you see that? He literally asked us where his pants were. So we got something from him, and now we got to return back to the king. Ooh, look at that. It's got a climb. I didn't know there was a climb function. I, I do believe that was added in LEGO Worlds. Maybe, maybe I'm mistaken on that, but that's cool. I like the climb function. Now, down below at the bottom of the tower, we're going to find a back door. Giggity. And we'll go ahead and sneak in and slap that chest. That's right. Smash and grab. We are out of here. Now, to speed things up, you could grab that purple brick off to the left. It is really easy to grab, but I am going to go ahead and hold off on that just for a hot second. I am going to get a uh, build attack going here, though. Got my cha 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 cha. That's right, all four of the buttons pressed in the proper order, which I don't think you can actually mess that up, so don't worry about that. And look at that. I only took one of the bad guys out with my build attack. So sometimes those kind of seem like they're a waste. Although, you're really not wasting anything. So, I took a couple of those baddies out. If I would have completed that last guy there, if I would have taken him down, it would have actually rewarded me with another brick, uh, which we find out here in a second after I complete this and then go back out there. So, again, you can kind of speed things up, but I don't like to overlap quests, tasks, bricks, things like that. So, uh, I kept them separate. Once we get back to the top here to get to the king, we get rushed by some baddies. I was not expecting that. So take out all three of the foes, and uh, away she goes. Look at that. We get ourselves a relic, and we should get a poipo brick. Oh, look at that. We even got the king's castle build as well. Hmm. Look at that. One king to rule them all. Now, I know that's from Lord of the Rings, but my favorite use of that line is actually from a m majorly inappropriate movie called Clerks 2. If you've seen it, great. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. That is a great movie. In fact, I am going to watch that in the next day or two just because it's, it's a terrible but hilarious movie. Kevin Smith for the win. All right, I'm doing some treetop hopping here, and I make my way back over to that baddie that I left a minute ago. Look at that. We've got ourselves a white arrow pointing down there. I think it's indicating that we actually still have a uh, one of the bad guys left, and uh, yep, here he comes. Oh no, he's one of those yellow skeletors. He took me down! That's not something you see every day. Oh, spin to win? Oh, to the yeah, look at that. You have my gratitude. So, I guess technically we were supposed to approach him, talk to that knight, and he was going to say, hey, give me some help here. Or maybe somehow we already were told that we needed help, and I missed that. But regardless, go ahead and tag that brick right next to Buddy there and collect it. Now we've got 14 of the 25, and we're not quite in the home stretch yet, but the last handful of bricks are actually quite simple. Uh, we do have a uh, one rather large task left. Uh, and I say rather, it's not very large. We just kind of get sidetracked for a minute. So, all right, back to this. Uh, oh, yeah, this is kind of funny here. I tagged this. Look, I don't know what's going on there. There's some sort of a purple. Is that a purple stud on the map? I, I was confusing it for a purple brick, but that's not what it is. So I I'm like, wait a minute. Been there, done that. Nah, we're good. We'll go ahead and remove that. Thank you. We'll go ahead and tag this guy instead who happens to be in the water. So let's go for a wee bit of a swim here. That's right, we gotta take a little dip. Take a little dip and see he. All right, we got that brick and we are up and over the hill. This one happens to be on the backside. Now this is where I do believe I get sidetracked with uh, with one of those little pink alien invader hearts. Maybe, maybe it's after this. All right, so we grab the brick on the backside here. We're gonna go ahead and target the quest on the inside of this little shed. And when we walk in, we can see that we need a specific character. It looks like I need Wildstyle based on the description that it gave me here. So I pull her out and I walk up and it says, Nah, Grok is warrior. Grok not be warrior. So it, we need some sort of a warrior. But if you look carefully, it shows the knight in shining armor. It's the guy that we've been helping out. And as it turns out, he is one of the characters available for purchase in the store. So that's pretty much how these levels are going to work. If you happen to need a character that you don't currently possess, you should be able to find him within the store of that local area slash planet. 
Now we're doing a little more treetop hopping here and we make our way inside and we're going to purchase all three of these characters just because we're here and we've got money and it looks like we got two characters and a horsey. So uh, we'll buy them all. Sir Stackabrick is now officially ours. Thank you very much. And then we'll get our <laughs> on by buying the old white horse here. And over to the... So now I wonder, this is a question I have for you guys. If I were to scan that horse on the far right right there, would that give me the the horse I need for my character packs or would that not work that way? I'm curious. I, I haven't tried that yet. So like I'm wondering if like the catapult is an item we could have purchased from a store somewhere, but because it was right there, we scanned it. We didn't have to. I wonder if there's multiple ways to obtain items like that. And you guys can certainly let me know down below in the video or sorry, in the comments, not in the video description. I put the video description there. <laughs> All right, we return back to the uh, guy in the hut, and we go ahead and pull out our warrior, and he immediately makes it rain some studdage and gives us that poiple brick. All right, here we go. Here's this moment. Right, I told you I got sidetracked with one of these alien invader hearts. So I accidentally chase him into the water, and I'm like, all right, well, so much. For oh, wait, he's going to respawn. Or is he? Nah, he's not going to respawn. Or is he? Nah, he's not going to respawn. Oh, what is going on now? This is just torture. Is he going to spawn or not? Turns out you do have to get a certain distance away from him before he will respawn. And it does take, I don't know, 20 seconds or so to make the animation happen. But unfortunately, I chased him right back into the water again and realized, no, this is not going to work out in my favor. So let's go ahead and keep on keeping on. So I'm going to remove all active waypoint markers and go ahead and tag one over here. We're going back to the, the old broken down castle right above the old dungeon where we found the mystery bag. This is where it gets super easy peasy. We got a couple of these bricks just hanging out all around the castle. One being on the front wall. Next one's going to be on that back left area. It's right next to the main tower in the back. Go ahead and jump up there and grab it. Now, I thought that right there in the wall was a ladder. Doesn't it look like a ladder? I was not able to make it function like a ladder if it is, though. So, I have jokes on me, I suppose. But I thought for sure I'd be able to scale that up there. Maybe maybe I just needed to have, like, my fists out or something. I, I don't know why. But if you guys got some tips on those ladders, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just decoration. But uh, you let me know down below. That's right. You guys are uh, the, the teacher is being taught by the students. I don't know if this is really uh, teach-worthy material here. This is all pretty easy-peasy. Pretty much play and you get it. But just in case you wanted to play along with us or maybe you were struggling with a few bricks in an area, we wanted to make sure these uh, videos were available to you. So, all right, another real easy one over here. And we find ourselves with the ability to go ahead and start a build attack. I didn't even see any bad guys at the moment, but uh, turns out there were a few. And unfortunately, we don't get to see the sweet, awesome build attack that uh, the Sir Stacker Brick does. But it, it proves to be effective as it took out a couple of the bad guys. And the last one's here, so we'll go ahead and smash him down. And I guess that's it. I'm not really sure what that was related to, but we got some studs out of it. And, uh, yeah, we can move on and be a better person now. Next up, we've got this bouncing alien invader heart in the back. I do trap this guy. He was easy. I'm not sure why that was so easy. A lot of these guys are hard. My best advice on trapping those is trying to force them into a wall or maybe even into, like, a room of a house or, you know, a stock for, like, a horse or barn or something like that but that's my best advice otherwise you could probably chase those guys for a long time now there may be something to the fact that some characters may be faster than others too like maybe one like this guy runs pretty good so there may be some you know some some sort of methods behind that as well but i definitely recommend kind of running them into a wall or an area where they can't move around very much so all right, we got a couple of chests out here in the open, and there is also a brick right here, too. It takes me a second to figure out where I need to go. I thought, is it up or is it down? Well, turn around. We'll go ahead and look for that uh, GPS waypoint marker, and this one proves that it's right in the old waterfall here. It's kind of a weird brick-like waterfall, but we'll jump in there and take that. And next up, we got another brick right around the corner. This one actually happens to be up top in the tree, if I remember correctly. I tried to cheat and get through the... Oh, look at that, I did! Oh, and then I failed, so not so good. There is a nice little stairway up around the side of the tree here. I find it here right now. There it is. 
Oh, uh, but I cheat and I go up the back door anyway. So we'll go ahead and jump all the way to the top and it's right in the middle. But if you're finding trouble getting up here with the old jetpack, definitely use the stairway up here. Now, while you're up here, you should probably smash that red flower as it is part of the next quest here. I didn't know that at the time, but I think we have six of these vines that we have. Yep, six. We got to take them out. Luckily for us, all six of them are pointed out. Now, one thing that they should do in an update for this game is they should take out all of these pointers, all the markers that tell us where everything is and they should make that some sort of like a like we ha should have to get like a relic or a, a brick of some sort that maybe you turn that on like like I feel like we should have a little bit more of a challenge ahead of us in this game but it doesn't prove to be it's just really simple and easy um, other than like maybe finding like like the hardest part of this game so far has been the randomness of the items you get so like for us we needed that flying vehicle we actually opened up a whole bunch of relics in apocalypseburg trying to get a flying vehicle and it didn't work out for us so we restarted came back and decided to not play apocalypseburg we decided to go do the smaller areas in the rex explorer system including the old west and now middle zealand um, and as a result we got more relics and we were able to open a few and we got lucky and got it was like the second to last relic we opened gave us the flight so that's going to be probably the hardest task is getting the flying vehicle or the items that you need uh, for the most part though the game just gives us everything which is pretty sweet so notice i smashed another one of those alien invader hearts Pretty sweet deal. Got another mega relic out of it. And right behind him on that back wall was Masterpiece number 24, which means only one left. And we already know where that one is. As it's not showing on our map, we know that it's in the store. So we got 50,000 studs that we have all reserved to go ahead and purchase that last guy. And at this point, you could, you could open up a bunch of relics because I'm sure you have, a, you know, accumulated a handful, at least in this area, if not some of the other areas we played in as well so uh, like I said last one is gonna be in the store I'm just kind of looking around looking for as many studs and stuffs as possible go ahead and get rid of those markers and we'll step right up to the old storesy here we go what's up dude and yes so we've got the 50k for the brick itself and then we got what 10 20 30 40 oh we've got that middle zealand master trophy achievement for completing all of the masterpiece bricks in this area so woo to the who so you guys don't have to purchase each one of these items that is not a requirement but there is that trophy achievement for getting 100 items and we wanted to make sure that we you know we didn't have to go back and do any farming for it we wanted to get it along our journey so we buy one of everything in the store well all the items anyways we don't really purchase the relics but they are available if you got some extra cash you can see here we've got about 92 two relics and a couple building up there for the mega so can i open those megas all by themselves is that how it works interesting i might have a bunch of those so looks like you get the shards to build the megas but you can also get the megas that's pretty awesome all right hey guys that's gonna wrap it up uh, a special shout out to warner brothers for hooking us up with a copy of this game check us out on social media if you have not already happythumbsgaming.com is the home of our trophy achievements guides as well as our product and gaming reviews as for me though that's gonna do it as always until next time